Okay, guys, I'm uh, going to stick build uh, a new flap. This flap is foam cored, it's sheeted with balsa, it's got balsa leading edge, bunch of uh, precast resin parts on here. All in all, it's uh, kind of chunky, it's about four point something ounces. And uh, because of the size of it, it's like 22, 23 inches long, about whatever, four, five inches deep. Uh, the root uh, it has a lot of weight on it so the servos are always buzzing so uh, we're going to try and uh, reduce the size of it uh, the weight of it i should say biggest problem is this uh, a6 is exact scale it uses spoilers instead of ailerons and uh, the spoiler has to tuck into this uh, recess here where it's red and uh, that's causing a whole bunch of issues. One, this is extremely uh, uh, narrow as far as depth. Um, it's not too bad on this end, but it's causing me a problem where all the ribs are real tiny from this point on. So I'm just going to bullshit my way through this <laughs> and see if we can make it work. Uh, if not, then I guess we're back to the uh, foam uh, flat. So. I uh, have 3D printed, I mean, I've 3D designed the whole flap and uh, I've transferred it to a vector program so I could uh, print it. Uh, this is just a, a program I'm uh, just trying out as we speak. Uh, so I don't know whether I'm thrilled with it yet. It's called uh, Amadine. Uh, it's a bit weird compared to the program I had. But unfortunately, I had to upgrade my uh, upgrade my uh, Macintosh OS, and uh, it's buggered up my uh, software. So I have to look for something new. So uh, I have uh, printed this out. It's to scale. So all I have to do is put these legal sheets, uh, US legal sheets of paper up, and uh, everything should be straight. But just in case, I'm going to run this straight edge right down the back. And yes, it is straight. It's straight enough anyway. I'm sure it's about five thou out, but we'll see. So I'll just pull this in a bit. And tape it. So uh, I've used this method of uh, printing legal sheets out on planes to scale which were you know over six feet in length as far as the fuselage and then i've made uh stations from it blah 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 i've built the plugs from it it works great it's a great tip if you don't have a plotter or you don't want to spend 50 bucks at the uh the uh, printers to get your plans enlarged and when you enlarge your plans obviously the uh, lines go with it so then you you could be out an eighth of an inch so let's get to it. So I don't have a building board because I never stick build. It's been shit 40 years since I stick built anything. And that was a Dave Platt Spitfire. So I'm going to use a quarter, quarter inch piece of balsa wood and uh, hope that works. Like I say, I'm not in my element here. I'm a composite guy. I build all my planes pretty much composite. I don't fly uh, foamies. All the planes I fly are the ones I've designed and built. So, uh, first thing I need to do, I guess, is uh, oh, put this on. <laughs> now, this is uh, 16th uh, skin plywood. Uh, I didn't have my laser cutter won't cut this length, so I had to put a, a scarf joint in it, and I just CA'd it together. I've used this method before. It's perfectly fine. So if I place that over my plan, theoretically, everything should be good. I've also done a, uh, a guide, uh, which is, you know, basically an isometric view of the wing, of, of the flap, I should say, so I can see where things go. So first thing I need to do, I guess, is cut a leading edge and plunk it on there. All right, so I've uh, 
trim down the uh, leading edge. <laughs> Pretty narrow at the end, of, obviously. And uh, I'm now going to start to glue it in. I hope. So, uh, been a long time since I stick built. I guess I should have gone and bought some nice pins. <laughs> By the way, I uh, got a real sweet deal on these. I got six cans of uh, kicker plus six uh, 130 gram bottles of uh, CA for a total price of, I think it was about 40 or 50 bucks. And uh, got that off Amazon. It's in the uh, description under tools and materials. If you're interested, it's a good deal. I've been buying from them for a while. They ship fast, good quality product. And it's, uh, it's not the thin CA, it's the uh, thicker, which is pretty much all I use now in my builds. And it works great. All right, so let's see what we've got going here. So this should hopefully be straight. Yeah, <laughs> the boy's getting good. Yeah, I was worried about that, but I got a new bandsaw. Man, it's really, really nice. The other one I had for like last 10, 12 years wouldn't cut straight worth the damn. It was always like running, like running out and whatever. This one has bearings all over the place, uh, so the blade just tr attracts beautifully. It's a recon or Rikon. Uh, if interested, I'll put a link to it. Well worth the money. Anyhow, okay, I'm going to start placing ribs. So what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just putting the ribs on. Because what I've done is... I've pinned the leading edge on. Uh, it's tapered, so I've had to cut it on a taper so that all these line up here because there's a setback in the uh, flap. And I'll just get these on, and then it'll be easier to line up the leading edge uh, once these are all in place and firm. So that's what I'll do now. Then we'll take this off and then we'll uh, put it on permanently. All right, now I have to uh, put this filler longer on uh, in here because when I was designer, I never thought of uh, the gap. <laughs> so that when the spoiler came up, you'd be able to see if I just skinned this across from here to here, you would see uh, open framework. So I caught it just at the last minute on the first one I did. So I just have to glue this one in and uh, that will be for the spoiler pocket to sit in. All right, now I've uh, shaped it, sanded it and uh, Put the glue on it so now i have to get it in place without getting glue everywhere so i'm just gonna tuck it in
So we'll uh, get the top skin on now, which, uh, I've, oh, there it is. <laughs> so then the top skin simply goes on like that. So to line that up, I think I'm going to just put something here and pin it, and then we'll uh, do that. I'm using this uh, test boiler just to uh, make sure everything goes on kind of flat. So it all presses down nice. Now, theoretically, this spoiler should fit in there nicely. Now, this isn't the right uh, length, I mean thickness, but it looks like it will go. So let's just check everything over. Much better than the original ones. So, uh, I'll go get the wing and then we'll uh, see if it fits. All right, so we got the wing. So I'm checking everything is the right thickness, which it is. Slightly narrower on that side for some reason, but anyhow. I need to get some food in me. My uh, hands are starting to shake. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, fits nicely. So the spoiler comes up. Flaps can go down, obviously. Comes back. And there's about, oh, I don't know, a millimeter spacing, which is just what I wanted. So all is good. So I have to uh, basically shift this over slightly. So what I'll do is use some uh, one eighth end caps, pull it over because I'm short an eighth there. That will give me my uh, space in there. And then I just put an end cap on this end and we're done. So ladies and gents, looks like we've had a success. So the hard part is, the uh, the actual flap wherever it, oh there it is this is the uh, original flap and uh, you can see that these flaps are shorter because this is a pain going to be a pain in the ass it's angled slightly to fit the fuselage it's uh, blended in. So it fits into the uh, fuselage and everything. So that is going to be a pain, and I have to put that on. But before I can do that, I have to actually mount the wings into the plane. Then I can start working on this to get it all lined up.